I take it you're Lincoln Clay. So they tell me. I told Sal this fucking casino would be the end of him. I meant it figuratively. This shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off the wrong person. <laughs> you know who I am, son? Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and anybody else that had anything to do with this. What happened here was between me and Marcano. Well, I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. They see Sally, a pile of shit. They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to deliver a message. You made your point, son. This all ends right here. Right now. I got no quarrel with y'all. Once a month, Sal kicked up 20% of his net cash only. Same man's been delivering it for, oh, I don't know, 40 years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, do you? No, sir. Well, in exchange, you run things as you see fit. I want to sell heroin, want a whorehouse on every other corner. Makes no fucking difference to me. The only thing that matters is 20%. And what if I decide to walk away? Leave all this behind? Then this will be the last time we see each other. Yeah. Best of luck to you, son.
Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Him and Georgie both. <laughs> it's the best news I've heard in ages. Can we get an amen, Padre? So, what happens now? What do you mean, what happens now? It's over. Done. Finished. I ain't talking to you. Just cause Sal McConnell's dead, Lincoln, doesn't mean it's over. Now, what you did and the size of it all, you created a storm in this here city, and it's gonna take a long time for it to dissipate, if it ever does. With Marcano dead, New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way. You, you can't be serious. The, the point of this wasn't to replace Marcano, it was to remove him. This city's done gone through enough. It doesn't need another you, Sal Marcano. You, this city, you've got to be fucking kidding me. This city is a cesspool. It's where people come to fuck and drink and get high. You watch your filthy mouth. It's what the city is, Padre. If it's not giving another Sal Marcano, it's going to shit one out. He's right. If it ain't going to be me, it's going to be...
Sal and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. Now, that's the kind of news you never get tired of hearing. So we finally gonna get our chance to make things right in this town. Bring a balance to things. Wasn't certain we'd ever actually get here. We're not here because of what I did, or because of what any of y'all did. We're here because we stood together. And as long as we stay strong, ain't no one ever gonna fuck with us. After he killed Selmar, Connell Lincoln Clay took over. But he wasn't content just to run the city. He expanded out across the South into Florida and even the Carolinas. There's so much money coming in, and he's been smart with it. He spreads it around, makes sure the right people get paid and stay paid. The city's favorite son, hmm? Yeah. Rebuilding the hollow, buying up Frisco Field, reopening the theme park, all that money and goodwill. He thinks it's made him untouchable, but no one is untouchable. He might have plastered his name across a few schools and hospitals, uh, made donations to a charity here and there, but nothing absolves him of his crimes. That's why I agreed to do this documentary. I want to shine a light on the real Lincoln Clay. Lincoln gave in to everything. Drugs, booze, prostitutes, you name it. He made a dollar. He was involved. Seeing him on the news, strutting around. Sometimes I, I think he should have died over at Sammy's with all the rest of them. That'd be uh, kind of a piece in that. Any of this? 